Welcome to the Brass and Woodwind shop. I have a trombone in my shop and the tenon came unsoldered and it's the part that goes on the slide and it fits into the bell section. And there is a lot of stress on that part. There's only one solder joint holding the weight between the two pieces and that's why that one breaks often. When you're soldering this piece on you need to be careful to remember this piece, the screw part of it, before you put it on and you have to figure out which way it goes. On some models of trombones, it goes on the bell section. On others, it goes on the slide section. And in this case, it goes on the slide section. Another thing you need to be careful of is to put it the right way. If you put it on like that, well, it's the wrong way, and you're going to be soldering it again. So, you figure out where it's going to go. It has to screw onto the bell section, so it goes like that. And then that goes on there. And then after you've done that, the solder joint is a fairly simple one. I have the slide secure and it's in a place where I don't have to worry about anything starting on fire. Before you do the job, you need to clean off the solder off of both surfaces. You can clean the one on the inside with a solder scraper, or it's also called a triangular knife because it's uh, triangular shaped. And you clean it up, you just go around, clean off the solder till it's all cleaned up. And you can tell it's clean when it's shiny and you clean this surface with sandpaper and you only use a sandpaper in places where it's going to be covered up with the joint that you're doing because the sandpaper does take off lacquer if you start to hit the lacquered spots. When you're done with that make sure that you put this on the right direction and put that on there and usually you don't need to clamp it it usually stays there you want to make sure it's straight and not at an angle I have my set settling torch that I'm going to use and I heat that up and heat it up for a few seconds then you put flux on it this may look like valve oil it is a valve oil container but it is flux because I put flux in there then you heat this up and get it up to temperature when it's up to temperature, the solder will start flowing. Okay. And sometimes this takes a little longer because there's a lot of metal on there. And when there's more metal, it takes a little longer. I might need more flux. Let's see. Okay. Is that... Okay, there we go. It's starting to melt into there. And you want to make sure it's all the way around, but you don't want it too hot or you can start burning lacquer. I think that's done. I just inspected a little more carefully and I noticed there's no solder on the bottom. So I am going to heat that up again, get that up to temperature. Sometimes these solder joints are a little harder when there's th uh, thick metal because it takes longer to heat it up and you want to be careful not to heat up too much because you can burn lacquer when you do this and you try your best not to burn lacquer because it makes the job a lot easier if you don't need to do a lacquer touch up job when you're done. I think I might need some flux right here because flux may have not gone to the bottom. And if there is not flux in a certain place, the solder will have a hard time flowing too. The flux that I used is acidic and it will eat away at the lacquer after time. So I'm going to neutralize that. And I have a bottle and I put in one quarter ammonia and then I fill the rest up with water. And I squirt that on there. And it is still hot. It's been a while since I've done the solder joint, but it's still hot and sizzling. Because, and that's because there's a lot of metal here. There, it's thicker, so it takes longer for it to cool off. And then I clean up my mess that I made. And the solder joint is done. And when you do this job, make sure that you have your safety glasses and that you have a fire extinguisher nearby. And make sure you do this job safely. Look in the description below for links to the video on soldering safety and also the video on introduction to soldering if you need to know more about how to solder. If you do soldering on any of the tubing on any instrument, it is a good idea to check for leaks when you're done because if there is a leak, the performance of the instrument will go down. So I'm going to cover up the end with my finger and blow on this. No leaks, so the job is done. 
I hope this video has been helpful. Please subscribe for more band instrument repair videos.